De Coit was away well from the out mark. Ansel began quickly in the yellow. Carey making up ground. Jenner's the one coming through quickly. De Coit's got a job to catch him. Jenner in front. De Coit won't be able to get there. And Jenner wins the first heat of the gift from De Coit. Ansel third. And then came Carey. And last of the five runners was Davies. And Jenner picking them up pretty quickly. Snotty got off to a good start. Out on the outside, Allen and Baird with Nan Curvis coming through quickly now as the White Peters. Peters has got a good break. Snotty won't be able to catch him. And Peters goes on to win by three or four metres from Snotty. The Green got third, Smith, and behind them came McNeil and Hodgson well back with Allen and Baird. Stone got off to a pretty good start. Mahoney obviously the leader. Now Stone starting to gather them in. Coming quickly is Toomey through in the blue. Toomey's taken the lead. Stone's coming at him. Toomey hanging on. He's got there. Toomey's won it by about a metre from Stone. And in third placing was the... Racing for... Wilson at the start. And they got off to a good start. Kiddo first out of the blocks. Wilson starting to gather him in and then Taylor. Wilson coming after this uh, runner in the pink Kiddo. Kiddo's still in front. Wilson can't pick him up and Kiddo's going to hold Wilson at bay and beat him a metre. Third was Taylor and last in was Severs. Well, every possible... McAvaney away pretty well from Miller and Hilditch starting to gather them in and then died. Harrison coming from a long way back and so too is McLaughlin. They're all over the track here. The yellow coming through. Diet and also the green Hilditch. There's little in it. Diet. Diet's just beaten uh, Hilditch and uh, a bunch of runners behind them. But Diet just hanging on to score in the yellow here in Heat 5. Benoit from the red got away to a good start as too did Hubbard. Karutz away quickly. Gaffney starting to gather him in. Gaffney coming after Karutz and from the back Benoit starting to run home very quickly in the final stages but as they go to the line and it's Gaffney from Karutz and Benoit getting into third placing. Well the out markers uh, No. Nankervis and Shelley got off to reasonable starts with Shelley quickly heading off Nankervis, then Perrin Circa with Saddington, and here comes Garner. Garner starting to fly. He's going to be the first of the red runners to get up, and the roars of the crowd as Garner races away and won it by three or four metres to Shelley and a fine performance by Mark Garner. He had them covered a long way from home. Walton away, away reasonably well, but Robertson got the better of the start, and he's quickly gathering in Walton now, and they were clear from Oliver. Robertson coming after Walton. Walton's still in front. Robertson slowly wearing him down, but Walton, I think, might have just hung on to beat Robertson, who threw right on the tape. It's very tight, but I think Walton may have just hung on, although there's very little in it. The start... Tassel away pretty quickly on the out mark. Chibley began okay. Tut was slow. Burns gathering them in, but Tassel's coming after them quickly. Tassel looks to have them covered. The White's running on at the end of the race, Bissonella, but Tassel races away and beats Bissonella. In third placing was the Blue Jones and then Russell, and the others finishing well back. But Tassel certainly had that. Magnificent scene. Right, Briggs away well, Start starting to gather him in quickly. Theodore got OK uh, from the red and Gillard, but Start starting to gather up Briggs. He's taken the lead with about 30 or 40 metres to run, and Start comes away to beat Briggs. Sergeant was next, and they were followed by Davidson, and well back was Theodore and Gillard. Thomas away reasonably. Barney and Wallace starting to gather him in and Schofield is coming quickly through in the centre. Schofield and Wallace and also getting through is Barney. It's Barney in front. Schofield and Wallace trying to pick him up but the black too good. Barney and Barney has won it from Schofield, Wallace and getting home late was Hopwood. 
Mueller away well from the back mark, quickly gathering in Spivey. The out markers, Weir's in front. Fairweather trying to pick him up, and Kendall's coming through in the centre. It's Weir in front. Kendall's grabbed him with 10 metres to go, though, and Kendall comes away to beat Weir. Fairweather was... Racing Caulfield, here's Bill Collins. Now, let's go back to Stool. Beaton was away pretty well with Warner. Haggy Costas got out very quickly and they were clear from Calpert and Johnson. Warner, Beaton, Haggy Costas fighting it out. Beaton trying to get to Warner. Warner just in front. He's holding Beaton and Warner wins it. About a metre and a half from Beaton. Haggy Costas third and then Calpert and Johnson. Well, Warner... And he did get away to a very good start. He's overhauling Berwick. Commodore away okay. O'Halloran still in front, the limit man. Commodore coming through. Here comes Honey down the outside. Commodore in front. He's going to beat Honey. Commodore first, Honey second, and third place into the white Berwick. This is a very good run. Stringer away okay on the outside. Bake starting to gather him in. Anastasia's coming home well. Now Beaton's got a big task in front of him. The pink runner Bakes coming after Stringer and flashing home too is Anastasius. But Bakes has got there from Anastasius and Beaton. Well, that was a good finish. Away now. Donahue got away brilliantly from the black. Johnson coming after him. Now the red runner, John Cock, has begun very well. It's Donahue in front. Johnson claiming him, and here comes John Cock from the red. John Cock, Donahue, Johnson, they hit the line. John Cock, John Cock, I think, has got up to beat Donahue and John. Ballard got away okay without being sensational out. Glassford got away very quickly. Ballard trying to catch him. Gibbons, Yaxley and Barclay. Glassford in front. Ballard's overhauling him on the outside. Ballard gets up in the last few strides to win. Half a metre to Glassford. Third placing went to the green runner in Barclay and a fine run by Robert Ballard, but he took a long time to get there. Yes, I'm Eastley good. the limit man. Eastley and Kelly away, OK. Douglas began quickly. Dallas O'Brien slowly making up his ground, but Douglas looks the one at this stage. He's coming after the yellow in James. Douglas takes the lead from James with 20 to go, and Douglas comes away to beat James. O'Brien got up to run third, and then came right Kelly, and well back in the field it was Waters. Of those on the left, Douglas probably got the better of the start. Emerson got away okay and has overtaken Ryan and Dynan. Now coming through, Douglas is in front. Emerson's going to try and pick him up. He's coming home too well, Emerson, although Douglas is holding on. And oh, I think Douglas maybe, but Emerson is pretty confident of victory. He clapped his hands after the line there, and I just don't know whether he's saying, oh, hell, I've just missed, or whether... He uh, thinks he's got up. Let's have a look on replay. Well, I think Peter Emerson thinks he's won it, and that's usually a fair sign that uh, he has. But Dave Douglas hung on there right to the line. It was a, a great race. He's got out very quickly. Emerson's come to him at about the 80-metre mark. And as we can see here, it's just... They've run a time of 13.07. Peter's very happy, so he's won the race. So you can see he's, he's probably even a quarter of a metre behind there, and he's just sort of got to the line, dipped, a great dip for the line, and the, probably the dip at the line has won him the race. Ryan in green got away to a pretty good start. He's quickly overhauling Taylor and Burns. Uh, Webster and Carey running pretty well too. It's Ryan in front. Carey is coming after him. Ryan the leader. Carey's trying to dive at him. They hit the line that's very tight between Ryan and Carey. From this angle it appears as though Ryan may have just beaten Carey and Webster. But we'll take a look at the replay. Wilson and Dooley both away smartly. Clayton started to gather them in. Going quickly is Ryan and also the blue runner off and And here comes Peg now. Peg starting to gather in off and Takes the lead. And Chris Peg comes away to beat off and a metre. And in third placing was Ryan. But Chris Peg a strong performance in Heat 21. Oh, this is fantastic.
Smith got away okay. Marchese was away reasonably well. He's in front at the moment of Smith. Now coming through is Rosenberg. It's Marchese in front. Trying to pick him up is Smith. Smith, Marchese. Smith has got there. Rosenberg flew to get up and run second and Marchese has run third. We see their... Uh Alvey got away very well. Corsello began reasonably. Brown's taken the lead. Coming after him, Halvey very quickly has got him covered. Halvey's racing away. Corsello won't be able to catch him. And Halvey, very impressive, easing up, walked over the line. One at two and a half metres to Corsello, and Brown was third. And that was very, very impressive. Elliott got away okay, he's on the far left and he leads from Bruce Stevenson, Batossi. Weckett's coming through but Elliott's got a good break. Weckett's starting to overhaul him, Elliott just in front, Weckett's about to claim him, Elliott holding on, he got there. Elliott's won it narrowly from Weckett and in third placing was Kane who ran home well. A narrow victory. they go. Grimer got a pretty good start. Kersop away okay. Grimer's a clear leader at the moment from Gow. Now Kersop's starting to come through as so is Foster but it's far too late and Grimer's going to win it. Getting a little bit tired but Grimer won it by a metre. Foster made up good ground to run second and third placing went to Kersop but uh, Grimer never in doubt. Ralph and Mann got away reasonably well. Now, Turner began only fairly, and let's have a look for Hamilton. He's coming through, and Langley's also doing well. Langley's taken the lead. He's holding Turner at the moment. Langley in front of Turner, and Langley wins it immediately to Turner. Third was Toussaint, and in fourth placing was Hamilton. Extra 20 metres make a great deal of difference? Makes a lot of difference for me. I'm usually a fairly quick starter. But, uh, well, Here's a replay now. Take a close look at it. What were you feeling? Victory? Tired. <laughs> just tired. It's over that last 20 metres that you're really getting pegged back, but you just put in that little bit extra. Yeah, I, I felt the stall environment helped me a bit towards the end. The crowd cheering, all the people here. I don't think I could have done that in an amateur meeting. Away they go. Guest got a bad start. Van Miltenberg began very quickly. Now Guest is starting to gather them in. Van Miltenberg giving them a big start. Doolan coming through. But Guest is starting to sprint away. And Guest wins it probably about two and a half metres to Van Miltenberg. And in third placing was Zerby from Doolan. Well, to me... From a long way back, Durham in front. Honey's starting to wear him down. It's Durham the leader. Honey's trying to peg him back, but Durham's going to hang on and beat Honey. And third placing going to Tippins. Well, we, we saw there that uh, what uh, Neil was quite frightened of, that uh, being a pole vaulter, he's very quick in the first 60. And the, the last 60, unfortunately, found him out. PC Durham, who, who won uh, stall back in uh, the silent era days, he uh, has been a veteran of... Uh, professional athletics and he's managed to hang on from Neil who's starting to feel very tired towards the end and uh, it's a good performance by Neil, it was his first effort over the 120 and uh, it's quite a different race as a couple of them have been telling us. Well Peter Thompson got a good start. Davis got away brilliantly, and he's a clear leader early. Now it's up to Thompson to overhaul him. Davis has got the break. Thompson's trying to get to him. Davis in front. Thompson won't be able to peg the gap back. And Davis goes on to beat Thompson. And in third placing was Linkford. Yeah, very good. a bit untidy in the early stages. McGinnis starting to get them covered but the runner in green now is breaking away Jones. Jones in front of Harris and Jones has beaten McGinnis and Harris in third placing. Yes well Rodney Jones has done a won another heat up at Stall. Um, last year he won a heat and uh, he's come and repeated the performances here. It's not a particularly inspiring nine unofficially about 12-9 but uh, he's handled that pretty well. He's uh, He's been a well-performed athlete in He's been a well-performed athlete over in Tasmania and he's, he's held them comfortably and uh, won it fairly easily on the line.
12.93 seconds, the official time. Rodney Jones taking out Heat 31. Ive Moore, 5.75. Colton, 6.25. Glassford, 6.75. And Steer, 8.75 from Brown. Well, I can see this being... Meant to beat here. McConnon and Proudlock both got away okay. Steer away quickly from the outside. Now Proudlock's doing better than McConnon. Taking the lead now is the pink runner in Glassford. Coming through is the yellow in Moore. But uh, on the outside, Proudlock's collared him right on the line and got up to beat Moore in a fine performance. So well done, Steve Proudlock. Set! Sharon will wait to a reasonable start only. Clemson began very well. McCrosty is about three metres behind him at the moment. Coming through is Antonich to take the lead. Clemson wearing him down. Antonich in front. Clemson making a dive at him. Very close. From here it looks as though Antonich has won it from Clemson. McKechnie got away pretty well. Mason Osa also uh, away reasonably well, but McKechnie's gathered them in very quickly now. He's starting to run away from Mason, and the others were headed then by O'Keefe, but McKechnie wins it easily. Mason in second placing and third spot going to O'Keefe. But... Off they go now. Nelson got away to a good start. Miller and Gill away OK and O'Donnell trying to gather them in. Nelson's in front. The runner in green. Miller coming after him. And here comes the white O'Donnell. This is going to be a grandstand finish. O'Donnell. O'Donnell's got up in the last stride to beat Miller. And Nelson, who looked to have it shot to pieces in third placing. Seven five metres. J.R. Evans on six metres from yellow. R.A. Wishart, 7.25 metres on pink. M.B. Evans, 7.5 metres on black and JJ Hamilk on 9.25 metres in brown. Oh, well, Curl was the breaker there, so he's gone back a metre. The white runner has jumped the gun, unfortunately the first break with only three heats left to go. And while we're waiting for that restart... Well, Curl was slow to rise, but got away OK that time. Gregorio and Evans also away quickly, and Hamilk got away fast in the brown. It's Hamilk in front, the yellow Evans starting to claim him. Evans runs to the front from Hamilk, and Evans comes away to win. Second, Gregorio, and Hamilk third. And Curl, well, he was slow to rise on the blocks, got only a reasonable start, and that was the end of it. And a recording of this event. Reed did commence very smartly, got a better start than Fury, but Fury is now starting to accelerate and he's quickly run to the front from Reed. It's Fury the leader, he's holding Reed at bay and they're well clear from the others and Fury's going to win the 37th heat pretty easily from Reed and in third placing was Eels. Bell, Hipworth and Don and all got away to pretty good starts. Out wide, Denny began quickly and is the early leader. Now the runner in blue, Dine and coming through strongly. The leader at the moment is Denny, Dine and also getting through is Green, but going to the line and Dine and easing up. Well, he had his opponents covered according to him, but it took a long time for him to get there, but the way he went to the place. Stall, a Santa Easter gift. Have a happy Easter and on behalf of Noel McMahon, Chris Perry, Peter Donigan, the six sport team, Shane Brennan, wishing you a very good afternoon. Channel 6 live sporting presentation.
Warner and Gaffney got off to a good start. So did Smith. Toomey was away brilliantly. Toomey coming after Smith. The outmarkers. Gaffney doing pretty well in the black. Smith's got to the front now. Trevor Smith starting to come away. He's through to the final. Smith first. Toomey second and third placing going to Kendall. But Trevor Smith is through. Oh, very strong performance. Good start from the back mark. Peg and Langley also away quickly and out fast as Walton. Walton's taken the lead halfway down the track. Blake's coming at him and here comes Garner. He's starting to fly on the outside and he's got a better performance. Garner in the second semi through to the final. A magnificent run by the young 17-year-old. Start commenced quickly. Ballard was away okay. Out very quickly as Davis from the yellow. It's start in front. Davis trying to overhaul him. Start's got the lead at the moment. Ballard coming through late. Start in front of Ballard and Start's got through. Start has won it from Ballard and Davis in third placing. Well, what a surprise. Robert Ballard being run out by Chris Start. Racing Peters flew out and has already got up to Halvey. They were followed by Barney on the outside and then Kiddo. Peters looks to have them covered at the moment. He's got the upper hand from Halvey as Peters in front. Halvey stretching him, but Peters wins through to the final from Halvey. And third was tied between Evans and Douglas, but a brilliant start. Elliot got away reasonably only. Antonich caught him soon after the start. Antonich is headed off, Elliot. Now, what about those from the back? Antonich, this could be a ball over. Oh, no, he's broken down. Elliot's holding onto the lead and a lucky passage through to the final. He was gone to the wide world, Russell Elliot, but Antonich has broken down when he was going to win. Well, we will see Smith, Garner, start. Peters and Elliot and the rugs that they will carry. Garner will be the back marker on red. Peters will be on white. Smith on blue. Start on yellow. And the green will be Elliot. Righto. So we look forward to that at 3.15 this afternoon. Plenty more action to come. There was a park install. It's 13 degrees at the moment. A southerly wind of 18 knots. Cool and overcast, but just at the right moment. The sun shining for the running of this great race. So there's the scene from the grandstand. And there's the scene from the air. Channel 6 helicopter surveying as the runners make their way down to the start now. Overlooking this famous oval situated right in the heart of Stall. And the runners now moving up towards the start. The yellow runner, Chris Start. Pleased to be there, no doubt. Pleased to be able to get up to the start and get it all over and done with. That's where it all counts and that's where the work happens. Trevor Smith goes up the track now. At the moment he's travelling downhill, but when he runs in the store gift he'll be travelling uphill at the finish and Noel McMahon it's a race for the strong at the end yes it um, it is uphill by uh, around about a, a yard or two um, you tend not to notice it in the run we see Mark Garner going down getting a very good welcome from the crowd uh, still crowds invariably like a, a back marker to come up uh, and I think a 17 year old runner is, is the sort of thing that uh, the crowd here have warmed to even though Chris Start uh, in the yellow from Ararat is virtually a local boy there seems to be a lot of support um, for Mark Garner. As we see, uh, St Mary's amateur, his handicap of four metres, um, trained by uh, Reg Austin and his father, Max, as well. He should, um, he should be very keen to run right through. And uh, as Chris said, his, his experience in amateur meetings at an international level uh, apparently ran in front of 50,000 at the, the junior world titles um, will lead him in good stead here. Next to him is uh, Mark Garner's giving this man here, Warren Peters, quarter of a metre head start. We saw he, him in his semi-finals. He, very, very impressive. He, he said himself he got a very bad start. And uh, heaven help us if he gets a good start because he went past Peter Halvey in the semi-final quite brilliantly. 
Um, the problem I see here is that those two will fight it out and then the two, ru two runners uh, further on will fight it out. Yes, then in the blue we have Trevor Smith, uh, who ran in the first semi-final. Uh, his time of 12.47 in the semi-final, um, I think, was uh, a bit to do with the wind. He ran into quite a, a stronger headwind. He's trained by Evan Armstrong in his first year of training off uh, six metres. He, he should be quite uh, strong near the end of the race. Chris Stard on screen there, age 21. So he's not much older than Mark Garner. He's off the six and three quarter metre handicap. And he ran out one of the favourites. And what I thought was a very, very impressive performance. And uh, he's going to be there fighting at the end because of his, his strength over 400 metres to run up the three feet incline at stall. In the green, we have Russell Elliott, uh, 25 of eight and a half metres, trained by Neil King, the, uh, the very strong stable of Neil King. Uh, Russell was, was fortunate in that uh, Antonic did a hamstring in the semi-final, but he had held his form very well, and uh, it's a credit to him that he's able to start in this uh, Storgi final. Well, it's time now for final instructions from the starter. There's the youngster, 17 years of age, Mark Garner. No doubt the crowd favourite when he went down to the start. Here are the instructions. If you don't like, give the command. When I call the set position, I'm going to hold the lever run is firmly set in now, fellas. Any movement on the blocks and I'm going to call it a break. I really mean that. Sit and wait for that gun, otherwise you'll pay the penalty. Good luck in the final. One the wonders final. if any of those five heard the instructions from the starter. I'll be on cloud nine at the moment to have made the final. And one of these men in a few moments time will be in seventh heaven. A hush descending over Central Park as it always does. Silence almost deafening as they go down for the start of the store gift final. 120 metres and a place in history waiting at the end. Racing, Peter's got away to a brilliant start. Garner began well, Elliot away okay. Coming at him now on the outside is Start. Start coming after Elliot, coming through is Peters. It's Elliot in front, Peters trying to get him, but Elliot's won the gift final from Peters. Garner was third and then came Smith and pulling up short over the line, unfortunately. Crashing to the ground is Start. Russell Elliot has pulled out plenty. Peter's got away to a brilliant start. Oh, I'm so excited for Russell. He's been under pressure all weekend for a bad performance. And it's just so exciting. He's fought off Chris Start. He got away badly. Warren Peters has come to him, but Russell's just... He's just powered away from them there, and it's just so exciting. I can't believe it. Chris Start looks like he's torn his hamstring there. He has. But uh, they haven't been able to catch him, and Russell's gone on to win by a half metre from Warren Peters with Mark Garner flashing home for third place, but a great win for Russell. And here he is now with Shane Brennan. Well, Russell Elliott, how do you feel? You've just won the most prestigious foot race in the world. Oh, brother Paul, yeah, I feel very good, you know, excited. I knew I could do it. I had no, I had no doubts at all. Very strong, so. Russell, probably your worst performance of the weekend was the heat. Yeah, well, I'm trying my guts out probably just as much as I did then. I just don't know what went wrong. I had a aged a few years since then, I'll tell you that. Relive your magic, Russell. You're in front here. What was your feelings at this stage? Well, I knew once they didn't catch me by the 80, they wouldn't get to catch me at all because I'm very strong.